what is your experience as a leading shopkeeper in this area? Well, we are serving the local community. Uh, we are a specialized shop. People are really appreciate our presence in this road, but some people, they don't like this. For example, the 2008 and 2009 uh, local administration has uh, put the double line in front of the business, despite our uh, protest. Uh, they, they didn't listen to us. It looks like they were very anti-local business. Uh, for example, they come up with the CPZ in the Pena Road area, uh, and we oppose that uh, with the double yellow line but they did not listen to us uh, and they just forcefully put the double yellow line in front of the businesses and that has killed off the our business in, in that year. When you say you protested, um, what exactly did you do? Well, we went to the, um, the local um, traffic committee meeting and the local council meeting. Uh, we have told them about the uh, destroying the local businesses by putting double yellow line in front of the front of the business. Uh, people cannot park at all. Uh, before there used to there used to be a single yellow line, so people can park for ten minutes and quick in and out. But then they did not like us, so they put the double yellow line, trying to kill off the business, uh, local business, uh, and they just went ahead with the plan uh, by forcing the double yellow line and the CPZ in the local area. And that was the period, say, roughly between 2009 to about mid of 2010. Uh, there was from period 2008 to, yeah, 2000, mid 2010. So then what happened? There was a change of administration, council administration in 2010. What happened then? Well, then we approached the, the new administration and explained the problem. They've listened to us uh, and they said they will look in, into the situation and then we had a meeting with the, uh, the leader of the council and the traffic officers uh, and they said they can put the meter parking in front of the shops and removing the line, but that took a long time. So after meters, uh what happened? How did, you, how did you come to a point where there is a 20 minutes free parking? They agreed when the new administration came in and they said, you know, they will help and support the local business. Uh, to 2010 was a very difficult period. There was a recession was going on, a lot of competition. We were losing the business and they come up with this idea of supporting local, local business. What sort of feedback do you get from the customers about this 20 minutes free parking? Well, ever since they put the, the meter parking and the 20 minutes free parking, I'm gaining my customer back, which I've lost in previous years. Uh, and they really like this idea of having free 20 minutes parking. They come in and out, 20 minutes is more than enough. Uh, and then the meter parking is another 10p for 20 minutes, which is really suits us because there's a limited space. So there's always a movement of cars and really my customers really appreciate uh, uh, this, the meter parking. What else would you like to see uh, which would make your life as a local shopkeeper easier? Well, despite that and the, the, the hard time, we still want the government to freeze the, uh, the business uh, rates. Uh, at the moment, the business is going up every year by 2%. Um, the council are freezing the, the council tax, but the business taxes keep on going up. So we want the government to freeze the, uh, the uh, council tax for business as well.